Hi, I'm Sean Michael Avenue and welcome to my vlog. What are we gonna do for today? Hmm. Oh, we're gonna be talking about encyclicals and the chosen encyclical that I will introduce to you is the Passim Interest or in English translation Peace on Earth was a papal encyclical issued by Pope John the Twenty Third on eleven of April nineteen sixty three on the rights of obligation of individuals on a state as well as proper relations between states. It emphasized human dignity and equality among all people and made mention of issues such as the rights of women, nuclear, nuclear non-proliferation, and the United Nations, all of which it endorsed. Passim Interest was the first encyclical that a Pope addressed to all men of goodwill, rather than only to Catholics, quoting pre praise to God, such as said by the heavenly army above Manger of Bethlehem. Professor of Law at Harvard Law School, Mary Ann Glendon inter interprets this to mean he was insisting that responsibility of set setting conditions for peace does not does not just belong to the great and powerful of the world. It belongs to each and every one of us. In theological term, it marked a major shift in papal teaching from realance of classical solistic categories of natural laws to a move to a more inductive approach based on science of the times. In this work, John John the twenty third, Pope John the twenty third rather, reacted to the political situation in the middle of the Cold War, coming just months after the nineteen sixty two Coban missile crisis during which the Vatican serves as intermedi intermediary between the White House and Kremlin. The document also reflected the Pope's experience of 1960 in trying to resolve difficulties arising out the four-power occupation of Berlin. The peace encyclical was issued only two years after the ere erection of Berlin Wall. It also draws, draws on Pope John's reading of St. Augustine's The City of God and Th Thomas Aquinas viewing of internal law. Excuse me. In this, it echoes the Gospels core values and principle of patristic and medieval thought while reflecting the historical period in which it was written. Pope, the Pope explains in this encyclical that conflicts, conflicts should not be resolved by re recourse to arms but rather by negotiation. He further emphasizes the importance of respect of human rights as an essential consequence of the Christian understanding of men. He clear, clearly established, establishes that every, man, that every man has the right to life, to bodily Inter integrity and to the means which are stable for the proper development of life. 
excuse me, passive interest is an extended reflection of moral order. The document is divided into four sections. The first section of the encyclical establishes the relation between individuals and humankind, encompassing the issues of human rights and moral duties. The second one, the second section rather, addresses the relationship between men and state, dwelling on the collective authority of the of the latter. The third one, the third section establishes the need of equality amongst nations and the need for the state to be subject to rights and duties that the individual must abide by. The final section presents the need for greater relationship re relations between nations, thus resulting in collective states assisting other states. The encyclical ends with the arguing of Catholics to assist non-Christians and non-Catholics in political social aspects. So, to end up this video, we must know our rights. We must know the rights of other people. And we must think before we judge a person. Because based on this encyclical, because based on this encyclical, all of us has the rights. But we must um, sum up or we must think before we use the rights that we intend to talk to other people or we intend to to say because all of us has the feelings that can manipulate or can discourage the person because of that certain right that we use this in the wrong term so to end this video i would like to say that all people in this and in, in the planet or in the earth must have the peace of mind and the courage to respect other people. Even if they're different in races, different in religions, but we must be abide by God and by it we can be a one nation. Thank you and see you to the next vlog.